If you own a 2020 onwards BT50 D-Max or MUX, you've probably noticed that your tyres are wearing super excessively. Well, with this new product from Superpro, it's here to help you save thousands of dollars over the lifetime of your vehicle, plus fix that issue entirely. The traditional solution to fixing tyre wear issues, especially on lifted vehicles, is to fit an upper control arm. Now, however, with these models, it actually isn't going to fix that issue entirely. It will help a little bit for the lifted vehicles, but you'll still have a lot of tyre wear issues, mainly because from factory, these cars have a terrible bump steer issue, which is related to the toe, and it causes the tires to wear excessively. Now, this happens at standard height as well. It's important to note that because even without modifying the vehicle, you're still gonna have excessive tire wear issues. So we highly recommend you get the Super Pro steering knuckle to help fix that issue. If you lift your vehicle, however, pair it up with the upper control arms and that'll resolve the issue entirely because it'll help fix your camber and caster as well. The Super Pro steering knuckle copies the original OEM's design with a few minor changes to be able to fix that bump steer issue. It's made out of hot forged steel and is e-coated in black paint to be able to protect it from corrosion. Plus, the Super Pro steering knuckle, like Super Pro upper control arms, comes with three years or 60,000 kilometer warranties. Now, in order to understand the issue that causes the excessive tire wear and problems on the D-Max, BT50 and MUX, I'm first gonna have to explain each part of like an alignment and what is tire wear. Essentially, this, this is a tire that's come off this D-Max here and we fitted this tire after we put in the steering knuckle and the upper control arms. And as you can see, the, the wear on the tire is actually pretty even. So there's no real issues that we're seeing here um, with wear on this car now. However, if you don't have the steering knuckle, you're gonna see a lot of scalloping, they call it, which is essentially bits and pieces of the tire are getting ripped up and torn off the tire as it's sort of rolling along the road. Uh, another common thing we see is one edge of the entirely sort of worn down completely and there'll be no tread left and the other side's not really touched at all because the alignment's sort of skewing the tire and all of that pressure is getting on one edge. So you really do need to look at getting the steering knuckle to be able to fix a lot of the tire wear issues because no amount of aligning with the car is going to fix that problem. A wheel alignment is simply put, adjusting the geometry of your car on a wheel alignment machine. And they do this by doing the camber, caster, and toe. And on some cars, they do the pan hot rod. But on the D-Max and BT50, there isn't a pan hot rod, so it's not really applicable here. The technicians will adjust your tires according to Australian road conditions. So that's rather bumpy and rutted and a lot of highways. So they'll adjust it so that way your tires are tracking straight and that way your tires are also wearing evenly. So in order for you to understand exactly what is getting adjusted during a wheel alignment, I'm gonna try and explain in the easiest way possible, camber, caster, and toe. So I'll start with camber, because that's probably gonna be the easiest to visualize. So this is the inside of the car, as you can see. This would be considered negative camber, and this would be considered positive camber. And toe, really simple as well. If you just imagine like your toes, you've got toe in, toe out. So the same thing with the car, toe in towards the car, toe out towards the road. That's pretty simple. Now caster is a little bit harder to explain, so I'll try and show you in the best way I possibly can. Now, this caster refers to the steering axis. So imagine straight up and down, that would be neutral caster. Now, this is the front of the vehicle. That would be considered positive caster. And this would be considered negative caster. And they do that purely just so that way they can determine how the wheel tracks. Now that I've explained camber, caster and toe, let's see what the upper control arm actually has to do with wheel alignments. So typically to start with, when you lift your vehicle, you lose a little bit of camber and caster adjustment, which usually means you can't get a good wheel alignment and you get some tire wear issues. Now that's where we recommend you get upper control arms aftermarket ones, because they're typically designed to put back in that camber and caster that you've lost when you lifted the vehicle. This then means that the tech can adjust your car correctly, like as if it was on factory springs and stop you from having any tire wear issues. But what about toe? Well, this is where we start to see the issue unfold for the BT50, D-Max and MUX. Typically when you lift a vehicle, you're gonna be losing a little bit of caster and camber, but not really the toe. However, with the factory designed steering knuckle for, for these models, there is an issue which causes a lot of bump steer and bump steer is specifically related to toe. Now, I can already see what some of you guys are thinking. What is a steering knuckle and why is it bumping my steer? Well, give me a few seconds and I'll try and explain it as best I can. So this is a steering knuckle. And simply put, the steering knuckle's job is to help control the geometry of everything within the hub assembly and your suspension. So you've got your upper control arm out, your lower control arm out, tire rod mount, and then the rest of the hub assembly essentially just mounts onto the face of the, the steering knuckle itself. And 
Overall job is essentially to help control, like I said, the geometry of the car, plus allows you to ensure that everything sort of tracks well and controls the up and down motion of the control arms. So what exactly is bump steer and how does it correlate to the steering knuckle? Well, simply put, bump steer is every time your car goes up and down over bumps and juts, it's causing the tires to tow in and out constantly. And excessive amounts of towing in and out, especially while driving on highways and things like that, it's gonna be causing a lot of extra strain and stress on that inside edge or the outside edge of the tire, causing a large amount of tire wear, which is what this car is experiencing. This is the bad news. Unfortunately, these BT50s, D-Maxes and MUXs all suffer from very excessive bump steer, which causes very excessive tire wear. And just getting an upper control arm alone isn't gonna fix the issue, because that affects your caster and camber, and the bump steer issue is mainly caused by tow. So it's really important I reiterate as well that standard height factory vehicles still have this bump steer issue. So you'll notice that you'll be wearing through tires super excessively, even at stock height, without a lift kit or any modifications, which is crazy. Now, how about I actually show you the solution to this problem? With the cost of tires these days, you really can't afford to be wearing through your tires excessively. And that's why we recommend you get the Super Pro steering knuckle and stop that bump steer issue. With the Super Pro upper control arms as well, you'll be able to dial in your caster and camber and fix any other alignment issues. So even for stock height and lifted vehicles, we highly recommend you get an upper control arm and the Super Pro steering knuckle for these models. That way you can dial in your wheel alignment, fix your tire wear problems and have your car driving as intended. So in conclusion, with the Super Pro steering knuckle, it'll help fix your bump steer issue, save yourself thousands of dollars over the lifetime of your vehicle and also get your car driving as intended. Now, if you want to know anything more about the Super Pro Steering Knuckle, you can use the link down in the description to head on over to the product page. And you can even purchase the product today, save yourself thousands of dollars on new tires. If you own it, that bit. I don't know whether that's loud, but I'll wait for it. Harder. So, caster, it determines. I'll wait. So, now that you have. That bit. Understand. 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 One smooth motion.